Welcome back to part two of the Ethiopian series. Today we are joining legendary coach Haji Adela, coach of many an Ethiopian legend, including Kenanisa Bekele himself, as his group does a 25 kilometer long run on Sindafa Road at 2,600 meters elevation. We hope you enjoy. So not long ago, this place was dead and now there's just athletes everywhere. Okay, one thing you might notice about the, uh, the warm-ups is that um, the Ethiopian warm-up often uh, lasts quite a long time. And it's not just about loosening up the legs and getting the legs ready, but it's about loosening up sort of the whole body, uh, feeling really relaxed um, at the start of the session. So you notice there's a lot of uh, warm-up exercises that involve the upper body and the shoulders. Um, and in many ways, some of the warm-up exercises actually look quite a lot like um, kind of traditional dance that, um, that people would do uh, in Ethiopia. So. It's about kind of uh, yeah, loosening up the whole body and feeling, feeling ready to go. There are so many athletes here, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Yo! He's telling them that they are going to do 30k training today. And he's assigning a pacemaker to each group? Yeah. Okay, this is Gotti Tom's group. Uh, wait, Mugus, before, yeah. can you quickly tell me what the program is for today? Uh, today, 30k yeah. and uh, 30k and 25k. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, the half tune in uh, the nearest uh, competition, 25 kilometer. Okay. Mm. And faster, I'm yeah, guessing. Faster, faster. Okay. Yeah. What pace is the 25k at? Uh, 25k for men in a. Uh, Per kilometer, mm -hmm. three, three zero five up to three twelve. The woman is a uh, three thirty six up to thirty twenty four. Okay, and per the kilometer. and the guys running thirty kilometers. Yeah, yeah, that guys uh, uh, three eighteen. Okay, up to three twelve. Beautiful, so, awesome, uh, great. The two main places uh, in Addis where people tend to do these kinds of runs, uh, one is Sindafo, which is um, where the video uh, is filmed today, which is quite high altitude, um, sort of between sort of two six and two thousand eight hundred meters, and very undulating, really really tough place to run. The traffic here is nuts. This is not Moy Ben Road. The other place is uh, Sebeta, which is more like 2,100 meters above sea level, and that's much flatter, and that's where people go to really run kind of time trials and things. Five Ks. What time? 15.36. Because there's only really uh, two main roads that the, the athletes tend to use for these kinds of training sessions, uh, everybody knows really kind of what the top athletes are running in these two locations. So if somebody ran really fast uh, in one of these places in the morning, word would usually kind of spread uh, through through athletes via kind of WhatsApp and Facebook and things throughout the, throughout the day. You kind of know who was in shape. 
One of the things you might notice about the, um, the way that people run on the road uh, here is that people tended to run in a kind of single file line quite close behind each other. I would often find that people were actually running sort of in time with each other, synchronizing their footsteps. And that's because people believed quite strongly that you were spending a lot less energy if you were running in somebody's slipstream. People believed you could kind of share energy between the group in that way, a little bit like a peloton in cycling. Water being hand out. And the 10k mark. It's for men uh, 1600, for women 1750. Fifteen. Fifteen fifty-nine. Fifteen fifty-nine. Yes. Beautiful. One of the really important things uh, I think to note about the Ethiopian approach to training is that uh, for the most part people really avoided running on the roads. Uh, people said that it kind of killed their speed, that it was um, really bad for the, for the legs for the most part. So people really tried to run on soft surfaces the vast majority of the time. Those who were racing regularly on the roads did train on the roads obviously uh, to get used to it, but they did so once a week. Uh, so the group that I knew uh, trained on a Friday morning, uh, other groups trained other days, um, but you would very rarely see um, an elite athlete training on asphalt more than once in a week. 1529. Okay, so they're training for Barcelona and Lisbon and, uh, half. Barcelona and uh, Lisbon half. Here also uh, the ladies. I want to ask the Samsarat. 60-54. This is the final kilometer. Can you get back on? Nice guys, well done. Yeah. Finished. Yeah, finished there. Uh, 1809. How long until the race day? It's almost like uh, two weeks. Awesome, thanks, Haji. Yes. So there's very little cooldown other than just waving arms and loosening up the, the upper body. Haji just gave a really long, enthusiastic speech which ended in laughter and clapping.